Hello, my name is Natasha Meyer. I'm a 25-year-old principal dancer and I was a ballet student in Vienna under the direction of Simone Noja in the end. So I'm going to answer the following questions. I think I had a lot of different inspirations throughout my studying and my career. So when I was young, I remember we only just discovered YouTube and we would check like all possible countries and dancers from across the world to get inspiration. And once we got stuck in that circle, I don't even remember anymore who was my favorite inspiration. But now I definitely have to say one of my still biggest inspirations is Sylvie Guillem. And that's because I think even though, of course, she has great possibilities with her body, I think she really shows that no matter if you have them or not, she's the hardest worker and she will always, always push beyond her limits and go even further than you would think it's possible. So I think that's something we all can learn from. And I'm taking everyday inspiration from that incredible woman. I think my my biggest in, um, influence by teachers was that they brought this like motivation and joy most of all because we all need a teacher who works with us obviously on the base and the technique because it's very important it's the standards nowadays that we all have to be able to do that but I think in the end of the day it's important to have a personality which is going to difference us from other dancers. So I think that that's what I learned from my teachers is to not just become, become a strong dancer and no matter what happens, keep on pushing, but most of all to kind of discover my own self and how I'm dancing and approaching steps. But to be honest, I think it's a process that's never ending. So even though you have learned a lot in school from teachers, I think it's a never ending lesson to work with everyone and to keep on learning. So Um, it really depends on the role, I have to say. Of course, there's some roles that we all know the story, like like Nutcracker, Romeo and Juliet or whatsoever. So we all have seen 100 versions and we know exactly what's going to happen. So that's a different procedure story-wise than when it's something where I don't know so much about the character, then I'm trying to, to read either online some information or even if there's a book. But other than that, of course, we always have certain teachers to work with us on the steps, on the technique and on the character. So, of course, it's a big personal process and I'm trying to get inspired by many different people and dancers online or whatsoever. But, of course, there's so much work in the studio that sometimes one day you approach the role very different than you will the next so honestly, I really still think it depends on the role. Also, if it's something that's easy and suited to my character or if it's something out of my comfort zone, I'll have to put more thinking and effort in it. I mean, most of all for myself, it's very important to have someone you can trust. So if I'm used to a partner, of course, makes it very much easier. But if it's a partner in general that, you know, no matter what happens, he's gonna be there for you and he's gonna make sure you look good, then that's already like the first base of trust that's very important. And from there on, I think you can of course have a personal connection and and get into the role into the character i think the most important thing 
at the Pas de Deux is to have eye contact because you might think that sometimes from far you don't always see that but the whole body language is changing when you look into someone's eyes and for me personally when I look into my partner's eyes I forget that I'm tired I forget that technically it might be hard right now or that I'm dying or my muscles hurt or whatever because once I look in the eyes I somehow get new energies and it's like I start fresh so that's for me very important I think that is a struggle that it's very hard to say how to deal with it because every time I come to a point where it gets very frustrating, it's always a new challenge and a new hard way to overcome this because it's not like I had an injury, let's say, and then I get another one and I'm like, oh, okay, I already had an injury, so now I know how to deal with my emotions because every time it's a new approach your mind is changing your mindset is changing and it's a constant struggle but i think it's very important to just like sometimes be kind to yourself which is something i also still have to learn because it's not um always very easy because we are very strict and um yeah not so nice to ourselves sometimes but it's it's very hard to say because it's such a um, inside struggle or if there's stress i'm i'm trying to tell myself that who what can happen worst case so i don't really know how to answer this because i really have a different way of dealing um, with my emotions every time it comes to these kind of points um, which of your talents do you think makes you special? Don't be shy. <laughs> um, I think from what I've heard over the time from other people, um, I guess people kind of enjoy watching me dance. I don't know because I don't watch <laughs> myself dance, but, um, I guess I, I really enjoy dancing and I think that the audience um, can feel that and I really give all my soul, let's say, to this job. So I, I think that it, it comes across at some point and I think that's a talent, I'm guessing, of mine. But um, of course, I'm also quite lucky that I have quite good um, facilities from my body which people often tell me they enjoy watching but I mean yeah I really just try to make the best out of of what I can um, I think what I would always tell people what's my most important advice I can give um, is that you should always have healthy competition in the way of that you compete to your yesterday self and not to everyone around you because I think everyone around you should be inspiration of making you push harder, learn from them, work with what you're seeing, what you want to do, what you don't want to do but you shouldn't think, oh, this person can jump so high and I will never be able to do that because maybe you are never able to do that, but you can learn from it and try to reach as far as you can. And maybe you have something that no one else can do and then you should try to enhance that. So I think the most important thing is to always push and compete against yourself from what you've been yesterday but not get intimidated by everyone around you and just inspired and be kind and nice to each other because I don't think it helps in any um, positive way to, to have uh, like unhealthy competition 
at your school or company or whatever. So I think that's my personal way of approaching everything and advice. So, um, yeah, I wish everyone um, all the best and um, good luck to Simona also. It's great what she's doing and bye.